This is Life Rewired, the Brain Injury Podcast, for survivors, by survivors. And now your host, Rob and Ashley. Hi, and welcome back to another episode. I'm Rob. And I'm Ashley. And this is Life Rewired. Ashley, how's your week been? It's been all right. How about you? Oh, it's been a doozy. I'll tell you a funny story that Ashley knows all about, only because of my stupidity. So I tried to make business cards where we're going to be going to a benefit. I was going to pass out business cards to kind of promote our channel. So I texted Ashley a uh, preliminary, you know, what this is kind of what I'm going for. I gave her two choices and I said, <laughs> Do you like the first one or the second one? Because I really like the second one. And then I stuck my phone in my pocket and I went outside, did some yard work. And while I was outside doing some yard work, I pulled my phone out. I look at the phone and it says, I really like the second one. <laughs> so then I replied, oh, great. I like the second one, too. You've made my mind up for me. <laughs> so I'm having this whole back and forth conversation with myself. <laughs> Yes, because I responded, how did I help you make up your mind? I'm just seeing this text now. <laughs> so then when when I saw that, I'm going, huh? So I start scrolling back through the text. And I'm like, oh, I'm responding to myself. <laughs> I'm such a goober. <laughs> Please tell me you've done this to yourself before. Mm, not text conversations, but I will answer myself out loud. That's funny. One time I was, uh, I was going somewhere and I texted Sheila, my wife. I said, what sounds good for supper? I'm at Panera Bread. And then I didn't realize I was texting myself. So immediately it pops up. I'm at Panera Bread. And I said, ha ha, very funny. Whoop, ha ha, very funny. And I'm like, are, are we going to, are we really doing this? <laughs> are we really doing this? This went on for, I know, three, four minutes, and then it dawned him, you dumb head. <laughs> You're texting yourself and answering yourself. <sighs> and that was probably before the brain injury, so what does that say about me? <laughs> today, today we're going to talk about, uh, what, was our <laughs> what was our topic? I've already forgotten. Motivation? motivation yeah if this isn't a brain injury on full display nothing is ways to keep yourself motivated like a cat going behind you um we had a viewer that watched our program recently this is angel our new co-host <laughs> say hi say angel, hi, angel. <laughs> so we had a, a comment on our one of our recent videos uh, from a guy that he does uh, models, I think, ca model cars, and he gets frustrated when they don't come out right, and he throws them away. Um, and he's just kind of at the point he just wants to give up. And he's reached out to us for advice. And full disclaimer, we're not professionals at all. We're just brain injury survivors, just like everyone else's that's tuning into our program. Um, so we've, we've kind of batted it back and forth and really it's kind of, what would you say, Ashley, would you say it's kind of personal to yourself? You just kind of have to keep pushing yourself, right? Well, I guess everybody's different, but I'm one of those people that I guess I just got to step away from it and come back to it another time. Um, you know, whether it means days or weeks or, you know, months and try to focus on something else because then I'm going to be like overly critical, you know, of myself. So I find like taking the time to step away from it and give something else a try helps. Yeah. You know, sometimes um, I will do something and I'm such a perfectionist and it drives my wife crazy. I'm the guy that's at the store. And she's saying, come on, Rob, because I'm straightening the shelves because the cans are, are messed up or what have you. It's probably borderline OCD. And it probably is further than that. But 
the, the point is I'm a, I'm a perfectionist and it just drives me insane when things aren't going the way they're supposed to go. And I have like, Ashley, I've just stepped away. You know what I found a lot of times what I consider to be garbage. Other people will come by me and say, Oh, that's perfect. And I'm over going, that ain't perfect. That's a piece of crap. You got to give yourself some grace. That's the biggest problem I think all of us have is finding grace for ourselves. Uh, but maybe you just need to have someone else kind of help you or guide you or say, hey, you know, that's, you're being a little too hard on yourself, being too critical. We are the hardest on ourselves, I feel like. We are our own worst critics. We really are. We looked up several topics and <laughs> all the stuff that was coming up. Just to give you an example, all the things that were coming up that uh, to motivate yourself doesn't really apply to a brain injury survivor. I mean, things like um, set clear goals. Well, you know, I don't know about you, Ashley, but I can set goals all day long. But three days from now, I'm not going to remember what I said unless I've written it down. Change your environment. Eliminate distractions. If you're a brain injury survivor, your whole life is nothing but a distraction. You know, I wish this could be a more ABC clear cut. This is what you do. Uh, maybe would you think counseling? If it's definitely getting in the way of your daily functioning, you could go that route. Especially if it's something that you love, because I, I would not want anyone to give up anything that they love. Right. You know, I would find a different way. You know, maybe you're, you know, I don't know anything at all about model cars. Um, are there easier model cars to build? You know, if you find something that's a little simpler and then maybe gradually over time you'll start saying start fine what's the word honing fine toning tuning. fine tuning mm -hmm. fine tuning your skill again you know the old sayings practice makes perfect that's pretty much all the advice that i can have um what do you think ashley any any other words words of wisdom that you can spew I'm still trying to figure it out. So you guys aren't alone in terms of feeling that way. So, you know, definitely feel free to reach out to somebody for a little bit of encouragement because maybe somebody outside of yourself or outside this community might have a different perspective or maybe somebody in this community might have a different perspective. But yeah, I definitely think, you know, being kinder to yourself and taking time away to focus on other things and coming back to it with maybe a different perspective, better mindset, fresh ideas, yeah. you know? I think you just hit the nail on the head there. If you think about it, okay, for example, if, if you want someone's opinion and you're doing something and you're going, mm, I just don't know, and and your husband comes behind you and goes, oh, that's beautiful. You, you, you nailed it. You nailed it. Now, are you going to put more value in his opinion or a total stranger who says, wow, Ashley, that's awesome. Yeah, sometimes having the non-objective opinion is more yeah. beneficial. Eliminate the bias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that might be something, too, that you want to do, you know, get away from someone that's too close to the situation. But yeah, that's, that's all Dr. Rob can come up with. <laughs> so. Well, if you guys have any ideas for topics you would like us to do, we are open to suggestions. So please let us know. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, that's all we have for this week, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Ashley, send us out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a good night, everybody.